Okay, we're starting our journey right now. Just a quick video, have a little bit of spare time. I am going to try the telescoping whip with the mass mount for the Jeep I found here. And I brought along the U-Kits. Don't have a lot of time. Just gonna get this video done out there. Do a little, I was gonna do some experimenting anyway, but might as well put it on video, right? So I'll show you what I'm doing here in a minute. We're gonna go to the lake so it's a little bit prettier than this neighborhood where they seem to work around the clock on these houses. So I don't know how your neck of the woods is, but it's uh, getting to be late October here in middle of Oklahoma and it's starting to get cold. In fact, this morning, cold for here, 40 degrees Fahrenheit, pretty shocking when you're used to 90s and uh, 80s 90s and 100s so we're finally starting to cool off but now guess what we're losing our daylight and so making videos after work is kind of tough but I was gonna try to get a video per week release them on Fridays they seem to do well on Fridays I think people want something to do you know something to watch so I'm gonna try to release on fri every Friday, and it might not be a great video, but it'll, it'll be something. You can watch it or not, it's up to you. So I am at Lake Arcadia near my house, and I have this purple stick here, sticker here. What that does is it allows you to come here anytime up, up to a year, and you can get it for free. So it's, well, after you pay for it. It's $80 and you, uh, you get access to this park uh, for up to a year and if you you actually if you buy it at the beginning of the month It'll last for the next month too. So you actually get 13 months Anyway, usually there's a person here and you went and they wave you through there's no one here right now. So All electric sites are full um, All right, and this is what's cool about Oklahoma and one of the reasons why I moved here It's a very empty space Lots of space to be and not a whole lot of people we went to Dallas last weekend and it was so insane. The traffic in Dallas is crazy. It reminded me of Chicago, only it's worse now. It's almost like millions of people have moved there and they haven't done anything with the roads. If anything, they made them worse. So there were accidents everywhere. There were cars zipping in and out. It was, there were traffic jams. It was everything I hate about a city everything else about Dallas is cool because they have a lot of stuff to do which I like a lot of cool stores and stuff but the rest suck anyway so what we want to do today is I am testing out the SWR on this chameleon I think this is a 17 foot I have attached a little spade mount here I just kind of jammed it in there and tightened it really well that way I can put some radials on here and I think I'm gonna start off with 20 meters so I'm gonna aim for 20 meters and I'm gonna send CQ out on my little U kits. I can't find the battery adapter for my mountain topper. It comes with a specific plug and I can't find it. Ever since I moved, I haven't used it yet. All right, let's get this up and running and see if it works. No. So just as I said that, this guy is just hanging around me. I, some guy commented like, man, you really attract people, don't you? I haven't even set up yet. This guy goes, I'm, I'm not mean or anything. I just got a job to do, you know, and I want to make my video. And this guy goes out of his way to come by and ask if I'm fishing. Like, I'm not fishing. What the fuck? Just leave me alone, you know? What the hell? <laughs> He's just hanging out. Just come. He comes and parks right next to me. I'm not mean, guys. I'm a nice person, and I'm not. I was nice to him. I just don't get it. Like, why? Am I that interesting? I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, you come out here to be alone. I came here to be alone. All right, I'll shut up. I know I'm gonna get some hate comments for that, but that's all right. <laughs> so this is the, I think, MP1 super antenna. This comes with the super antenna and it's one of, it's the best set of radials I have. The wires are very slick. Even though this is a mess, it's, it's one of the easiest 
messes to untangle I, I have, so I love keeping this around. Even if I don't use that antenna much, I still like this. Of course, just as I say that. Um, this, this handles a bunch of different bands, uh, but it only has one radio per, per band. But I'm going to start out with this and see if I can get a, just a decent SWR. Why not? So with the uh, MP1 Super Antenna Radials, this is the rig expert. I got this to be ultra portable for this reason. Um, link in the description if you're interested. I got a 1.98 here. Um, that's good. It's probably okay. I'm going to try to beat that though um, with the other radials. Probably if I messed around with the radials, it'd be all right, but I don't want to spend a lot of time doing that. I have 20 meter radials that I made and they're cut by frequency for that frequency. I don't remember the exact length. But you can go on a calculator if you type in someone asked me if you type in antenna ham radio antenna calculator radial calculator it'll come up and you can put in the frequency you want and it'll tell you how long your radials need to be so i made these radials out of just thin wire really thin wire and i had four of them coming out and it got way too tangled so i cut one of them off and that seemed to help a lot with tangles which is the biggest problem with radials is I just don't like to waste time doing this this kind of stuff just realized so i'm just gonna lay these out like that three radials very simple the spade mount's quite nice because it connects right there so i should have well i should have some balance let's find out all right after a lot of fiddling i got 1.4 at 13.87 megahertz which is okay so i forgot to bring a connector so i won't be transmitting tonight yep that's right so what we will do is we'll listen to it a little bit but i gotta hold <laughs> i gotta hold them together like this yeah that's what happens when you rush So one cool thing about this radio, I'll drop that for a minute, is that it has this memory, and I think these are QRP frequencies, it already knows them. So if you hit the, you want to change bands, you go to the memory, and it will jump around real easily, 14068, 14180, 14040, so again, I've got to hold on to this to keep it, <laughs> to keep a connection going, because I forgot the connector. GoPro start. CQ holding this I think we're only at three watts I'm gonna call CQ and see if the reverse speaking network hears me this is really hard to do Okay, kids, I do not recommend doing that. I do not recommend sending CW while you're holding your cable. I'm only gonna do it like once or twice, and this is very low power. There's an internal battery in there, 12.2 volts, but I'll try it one more time to get on the RBN. Okay, that was 14.062, and I want you to write in the comments 
I want you to guess and see if I actually got out doing that holding it like that because I seriously doubt it. There's a paraglider. I don't know if that's what it's called, but it's got the it's got the engine on the back of it. He's gliding over this. So anyway, is is that gonna work? I don't know. <laughs> Let's take a look at this guy. You know, he's got nowhere to go. His engine runs out, he's in the water with a lot of gear on. Question mark. Hold on. That's a poda somewhere. I can I can decode the letters in my mind, I just can't remember them in a call sign. I have to write it down. Here's how you disconnect your antenna. To tell you about one of the most nightmarish things about Oklahoma they have these little spurs I don't know what they are grass spurs I heard someone call them these things don't look that bad they are horrible they're basically little sharp knives that, that are everywhere in the grass and even our dog will our dog will whine if he steps on one then you got to pull it out and as soon as you pull it out it goes it goes inside your other hand so I actually was reaching for my wire down there and I got stabbed in the finger I thought those sweet gum tree gumballs were terrible these are ten times worse and they blow around if boy god if you step on one you will regret it I think these are them right there those little bastards right there horrible and they blow everywhere so I mean being in the grass is it's just a bad idea all right let's listen to more CW This, this is the audio quality. I'm on upper sideband 14178.